Hello from Plant Reviews, uh, today 11th of July and I will talk now about Allium Spherocephalum uh, again one of the most loved flowers by pollinators and indeed is in the uh, genus Allium the genus to which uh, garlics, uh, onion and ornamental onions uh, belong to the common name is uh, well, widely known in the UK as uh, um, drumstick garlic, round-headed garlic, round-headed leek and ball head onion uh, because as you can see the uh, flower um, umbel uh, is basically uh, quite globular as you can see and it is uh, um, um, very um, showy uh, against the quite uh, slender uh, flower uh, stem flower scape uh, the, um, this plant is uh, distributed in the wild in uh, most of the europe in particular in the southernmost uh, countries uh, except obviously the extreme northern countries like uh, Ireland, the Netherlands, uh, Scandinavia and Baltic states but is also distributed in northern Africa and western Asia until Iran. In the UK it grows wild only in the Avon Gorge and uh, it is known locally indeed as Bristol Onion. Uh, the leaves are strap shaped and uh, as usual they kind of fade away uh, just before uh, blooming uh, indeed as you can see going around the flower scape i can't see really any leaves uh, left on this plant ah, actually there is one here uh, you see this is the flower scape of the allium and here it is the uh, one leaf that uh, is uh, withering already as you can see is started dying down one second i think that now you can yeah you can much better see it and there's some more leaves already uh, withered uh, the plant is uh, uh, about uh, 50 60 centimeters tall and uh, uh, it belongs uh, to the family Amaryllidaceae uh, in the subfamily Allioidae as uh, all the other alliums and it is a perennial bulbous uh, plant the flowers are uh, kind of oval shape uh, globular and uh, you can see that uh, um, the flowers do not open up altogether but uh, in stages as uh, with many alliums uh, indeed uh, also the flowers uh, do not open up completely they open up just at the uh, top part and uh, in this uh, way the allium doesn't lose the typical uh, spherical um, ovoidal shape as uh, you can uh, see uh, the color of this allium is deep purple very very bright and uh, I think uh, it is uh, one of the showiest alliums and it matches perfectly in the meadow garden especially in pollinator friendly garden and in particular I love the uh, color of the allium matching with the uh, Knautia uh, this is another uh, bright uh, purple uh, variety I have that is also a great plant for uh, pollinators uh, the Allium Sphorocephalon uh, also gained the RHS Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit. Uh, due to the fact that the umbel is uh, quite uh, small in comparison to other alliums and the flower escape is so long, this is the reason because it is uh, known as drumstick uh, allium. Uh, the individual flowers, you can see, are uh, reddish purple uh, giving the overall appearance of purple however sometimes the flowers are replaced by bulbils that uh, are um, that can originate also uh, new plants around uh, the plant is frost hardy throughout UK and it is uh, indeed uh, one of the uh, easiest plants to uh, keep in the garden I have a few planted around and as you can see 
I have some even in the uh, middle of my uh, front garden, still growing and blooming, even if they're a little bit obscured by, um, sorry, a little bit shaded by uh, the taller plants like roses and crocosmias. Uh, definitely this plant, like all alliums, loves uh, full sun and well-drained soil. Indeed, as you can see, they're in the sunniest part of my front garden. Uh, they are blooming in uh, profusion, the bulbs. Uh, the propagation can be achieved by seeds, but also by bulbils, because each bulb produces about four bulbils at the end of the growing season in early summer, so it spreads around quickly. And uh, it actually is actually considered a bit invasive in some gardens. So, this is a plant that you uh, really want to, want to monitor, however, uh, in my opinion, is uh, um, such a nice plant and uh, it really uh, is really slender, so I don't think uh, this plant uh, is able, if you, especially if you have a garden with many plants, to overtake um, any uh, other plants, uh, unless obviously you have very small plant like in a rock uh, garden. Uh, you can buy the bulbs uh, in autumn, they are indeed some of the easiest bulbs to find, both in garden centers and online, in the, um, in, uh, the uh, between uh, September uh, sometimes even August until December in the uh, during the um, sales of the uh, autumn when autumn bulbs autumn planting bulbs are sold. Uh, the cost is actually quite cheap, so it is uh, one of the easiest and uh, also uh, cheapest plants to buy. Definitely, you can buy a nice good number to have a nice show of uh, beautiful bright purple round flowers in the garden. Again, this is one of the best plants for pollinators and is ideal for the ease, uh, the, considering how easy it is to keep this plant in the garden if you want a bee friendly uh, garden. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, it uh, would be great if you can uh, please subscribe. If you didn't like the video, uh, obviously, uh, please let me know in the comments down below what you uh, didn't like, or if you like the video, also <laughs> very welcome what you did like of the video. And uh, I will try to uh, make improve my uh, next videos in case you consider that I might improve any uh, detail. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.